Jerome Pizman from Nacha, and today I wanted to do a short video on how to take assets that you might find online and then really optimize them for game engines and making them VR ready. So specifically, one of the assets that really comes to mind is assets created from either Teltbrush, Medium, or even Google Blocks that you can all create in VR, but they don't necessarily have an optimized vert count or even a texture that can really be moved over into something like Unity. So today I wanted to cover a cool new tool called Simply Gone, which was recently purchased by Microsoft. And what this does is it takes any asset within your Unity folder, or really any asset at all, and then just basically optimizes the vert count, gives you LODs, which is level of details, and it also can do some texture compression. So really, really awesome tool that Microsoft, when they purchased it, they made free. So we're gonna check it out today. And tilt brush, but uh, you can upload anything here. Today we're gonna be looking at something made in blocks by 3D Donimus. And uh, you can just move around here with the mouse and you can definitely see it is a super, super detailed piece of work. We've got this lovely forest scene. You can also pan around. Let me see. You have a bunch of assets here. So you can go ahead and download this. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and grab this for yourself. And uh, yeah, really, really beautiful work. Next thing up is getting actually the tools we need from Simply Gone. So you can go to account.simplygone.com. You can see I'm already logged in here. And you can go to your license and you can just download the SDK. Um, if you haven't gotten a license, it's really, really easy to get one. All you need to do is there should be a button just that you just click. It says get license and then you can get it. Click download SDK. You'll see that it populates with a few things that we can download. We first have here is the Simply Gone SDK. Now we actually need this in order to actually get Simply Gone working with its cloud build and all of that stuff. It will not work in Unity without that. And then you'll see there's a bunch of Unity plugins specifically. We're going to be using the latest one, which is this 5.5. Now, one thing to note here is even though it is 5.5, it does work in Unity 2017. Not much has changed, so it's actually really nice that it works that way, even though it might not look like it's been updated. So go ahead and click download here and getting Simply Gone right there. And let me go ahead and do that right now also. Gone ahead and downloaded the two assets. I've also gone ahead and downloaded that blocks model from the, the website. Let's go ahead and open up the ex executable first. That opens up the Simply Gone SDK. You've got a bunch of tools that you can install. I'm gonna go ahead and install all of them. If you want, this update settings files is a little optional. So if you want, you can go ahead and uncheck it. But I'm just gonna go through the installation process and I'll see you in a bit. Once Simply Gone's finally installed uh, downloading, you'll be able to see it here in the actual, your menu tray. You can uh, go to settings here, you can see uh, what version it is and if there are any ongoing jobs. And you can also go ahead and just enable it, disable it. One thing you might need to do is make sure you put your license within uh, within Simply Gone. By doing that, you'll basically ensure that y your version of the SDK is compatible and you'll be able to use it to its full potential. So go ahead and do that if you haven't done so already. I've actually already gone ahead and done that. and. Um, if you don't, you can just launch the license application to actually try that out for yourself. Let's go ahead and switch into Unity here. And I'm just having an empty project. You can create an empty one for yourself. And the first thing we'll have to do is we'll go through and import in our Simply Gone package. So just go ahead, drag that in. It gives you a quick middle menu for importing. I'm gonna import it and then this takes a little bit so I'll just cut to whenever it's finished. Finally finished importing, you can see here that I've also gone ahead and added in the model that I mentioned before. So we have both of those and we won't have to do any more importing again. So just explaining what happened here, we have the model. Um, I can actually go ahead and drag that in. And there it is. Uh, we have it in Unity. Obviously it is a little slow and that's just because it is an unoptimized asset with a lot of things going on there. We also have a bunch of materials. One thing that blocks doesn't really do is give you a texture atlas for your whole model instead it just adds colors to each individual object which i'll just be honest right now is not very performant at all i think blocks is just v1 hopefully they add texture support soon 
And the last thing is Simplygon. So that just comes as an editor extension. And we can actually go ahead, go to Simplygon, Simplygon in Windows. And we'll see here we have uh, this little panel. And all we have to do is go ahead, click grid. And the username here is user, password is user. So very, very simple. Uh, and then it just go, goes ahead and connects to the server. I'm gonna make sure that I just stay logged in, hit log in, gives it a second. And uh, yeah, here we're, here we're in. We have four tabs at the top here, the user account, which you can log out if you need to. You can uh, see what jobs are happening within Simplygon if you set any up. You have advanced settings here. I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but you can see if you want to tweak anything like with the LOD chain or even with the shader network, which I think is a recent addition to Simplygon, that's where you can go. And last but not least here is you have Quick Start, which is really what we're gonna be focusing on. Within Quick Start, you have four options really. So one is reducing a current model based on how many triangles you wanna keep. Uh, it defaults to 50%, but you can really just move this up and down however you want. You have an LOD chain and high level what an LOD is, is the ability to basically swap a model uh, for a more optimized version, depending on how far away you are. Basically what you wanna do is if the camera is really far away, you don't really care so much about the levels of detail in your actual model. So you can uh, optimize a little bit by removing triangles here and there. And th the easiest way to do that is just swapping out the model for a, a more optimized version. At the same time, if you wanna have a really high res looking object when the camera's really close, then you can go ahead and swap in for a, something that has a really high level of detail. So what Simplygon is doing here is basically given your hot, quote unquote high, high fidelity model, it'll create a chain of levels of detail that uh, based on wherever your camera is, it'll move it out. So that's the LOD chain. Uh, texture merging, which doesn't really work for blocks, is the ability to take two textures, merge them together so that you have one, one giant texture that is easier for the GPU to read and then process onto your models. Uh, it's a process called texture atlasing. We won't be able to do that here with blocks because there is no texture and there are no UV maps, which is what enables textures to actually get rendered. But if, uh, if that's something that you do have a model that's textured, you can go ahead and use this feature. And last but not least is the proxy, very similar to reduction and the texture merging. Basically what it does is create a separate object as opposed to reducing a current one. So if you want to do something like that, you could do that here. So with that said, we're gonna just do something really basic, which is, well, first we actually have to go ahead and click on our model here. Once you do that, you'll see that we have the model selected and it has 173,000 triangles. Let me get the number right. So obviously that's really, really high for a blocks model. There's just so much deep tunnel in here, but we can optimize it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just do a simple reduction here at 50%. Uh, nothing really fancy. Uh, if you want to make it lower or higher, Simplygon offers that. And all you have to do here is click this little Simplygon icon. One thing before I say that is it is going to slow your computer down a lot initially. And the reason is it's doing a bunch of calculations locally before it sends it off to the cloud. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to cut to once all of the computer chaos is done. So let's go in three, two, one. All right, so now after probably 10, 15 minutes, it's finally done. It's still waiting here at 75%, and that last 25% is waiting for me to click this download button. If in the future you just want it to go to the full thing and just have it downloaded, you can click this checkbox right here. But I'm gonna go ahead, just click download. It actually happens relatively fast, at least compared to actually pushing it up to the cloud and processing it, which is actually really nice. So that does it, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close Simplygon. We're uh, pretty much done with uh, the actual reduction process. And so now that we've actually gone ahead and downloaded it, you can see here in this LODs folder, we have what was actually the LOD. We have a pending LOD, which is basically what was uh, sent up to the server. I think it's just a copy of it. Um, we can actually, let me go ahead, and reopen up Simplygon. I'm gonna quick start. Uh, yeah, so this is the one that was reduced by about 50%. It's coming here at uh, 90,000 tries, which is around 50% of uh, the uh, 180,000 it was originally. 
think we also have a copy in here. Yep, these are all just copies that um, fit that requirement. This one here is a prefab in case you wanted to do LOD groups. Obviously for this one specifically, we don't really get that option. But uh, yeah, this is, um, you can definitely see that it worked. It did its job. Uh, let's actually go ahead and uh, pull it out. So this is the super high poly version. I'm gonna drag out the 50% uh, version and uh, let's just take a look at a couple things. So one thing right off the bat is this pig. The, uh, the eyes on it are a little funky because of the, the removing of tries there. I mean, at least compared to uh, this one where like you get a full white, you can obviously see a difference between the number of uh, pixels or at least verts. Um, but overall, I mean, it's really kind of hard to, there, there are just very few actual places where this actually happens, which is really, really cool. And I mean, obviously if you're looking at it this far away versus this, you're not gonna be able to tell what, whether or not that pig has a few uh, extra missing vertices on its eyes. So that's really the really cool part about actually having this. And the really nice part is coming in at 90,000 verts, this is uh, very well optimized and as far as like you've just saved about 50% time in terms of performance, which is really nice. So hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this. It's a really short video, but I think it serves the point of actually showing that Simplicon is a really really powerful tool, and it's free for anyone in the developer community to use. Definitely, if you're looking at developing for VR, this is one of those assets you really really want to take a look at because it's going to save you a ton, especially if you don't have a 3D artist on your team. So if you like this video, make sure to share it with a friend. That helps us out a ton. Also, make sure to subscribe. Until next time. This is Confused Man, I'm signing out.